Hi, I'm Molly Gold, Home Organization and Family Time Management Expert, and today I'm delighted to join you on the Dr. Z and Friends blog here at Primrose Schools. Today we're talking about Summer Camp Plan B. For many of you, depending on the age of your children, you may find that while you're just now starting to think of summer, your options are long gone for the summer camps you may have had in mind as the ones that might be best for your children. So what's a busy parent to do now that summer is literally just a few weeks away? I've got a few tips for you that I think will make all the difference in how you assemble your best plan B for summer camp this year. Number one, look to your child care provider first. Many child care providers offer wonderful summer enrichment programs that while they're still at a familiar place or perhaps even at another related child care provider, they offer wonderful programs based on characters, based on movies, based on themes that really enrich your child and make it fun for everyone and surely not seem like the same old routine. Number two, look to community membership groups that your friends might be utilizing because when you choose a camp option that might not be familiar location for your child, at least if you can get onto the same group, your child will have a familiar face which can go a long way in making sure that the week is a success. Number three, look to your community libraries and museums. You would be amazed at the number of often free programs that they offer all summer long that could be just the right plug for those weeks where you might have a gap. While there may be some age restrictions and parent involvement required, you'll likely find at least a handful of options that'll definitely work for you. And then number four, Definitely get out there and consider what kinds of things your child is interested in and then look for interest-based camps that will help them explore those, whether it's music, whether it's sports, cheer, dance, or academic. Children in the very early age groups have a plethora of opportunity available to them when it comes to interest-based camps. So I hope that these tips help you if you're trying to pull together a summer camp plan B, and I'd love to know how do you handle the unexpected gap in your summer plans. Thanks so much for stopping by the Dr. Z and Friends blog, and I'll so much look forward to seeing you next time.